Hi, I'm Nolan Piper. This video is a third programming example with the Active RPN calculator for the iPhone and iPod Touch. This calculator uses reverse Polish notation, which is well suited to programming. If you're not familiar with this notation, you can check out the basics video that starts this series. Today we'll look at solving quadratic equations. Let's get started. The quadratic equation can be written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So with coefficients in memory locations, this becomes y equals m1 x squared plus m2 x plus m3. So for example, we've got y equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. I'll clear the memory locations and we can put 2 into memory location 1. And we'll take the 5 term, put that into 2, and the negative 8, and we'll store location 3 for that. Then we can be given an x. So let's try x equals 1. To start the program, we'll store that in memory location 0. Now we'll square it. In this case, of course, it'll stay as 1. And then we'll go our memory location 1. We'll bring in the a term. We'll multiply. Then we'll recall m2, which is our b term. And we'll recall from 0. Multiply. We've got our first and second terms sitting there. We'll add them together. And then we'll bring in the third term and add it and that's our y. We want to give the results in terms of x and y so we'll recall 0 and that's our pair. If x is 1, y equals negative 1. Alright, so let's program this. f prog b is free so we'll put it in b. Call it quad and inputs is going to be x and then we've got m1 to 3 and that holds a, b, and c so that's what our inputs look like and outputs will have x and y so let's record so we've got x sitting there. The first thing that we're going to do is store that in 0. We'll square it. And then we'll bring in our m1, which is the a term. f recall 1 times. All right, now we're at the second term. We'll bring in m2. f recall 2. We'll bring back our x. f recall 0. Multiply them together. We've got our first two terms. We'll add them. Then we bring in our third term, f recall 3, and we'll add that. Now we've got y sitting in the bottom register. We'll bring in x, f recall 0. Then we've got x and x, and y and y, and we're done. So our program, quad is b, looks like this. So we've already set up the quadratic. Let's evaluate that first problem with 2, 5, and minus 8. And let's just double check what we have in our memories. Yep, 2, 5, and minus 8. That's still set up. So we're ready to, to run that first equation. Then we'll try a second equation. So let's do our some values here. Clear the stack. We'll start with 0. So the terms there were 0 and minus 8. Now we'll put in an x of 1 and run the, pr the program. So that's the pair, 1 minus 1. Now we'll put in 2, fb. The pair is 2 and 10. And then we'll put in 3, fb. So, as x gets larger, 
the x squared term starts to dominate, we're effectively um, plotting where what it, the equation would look like. We can evaluate y at any x with what we've programmed. All right, let's go on to another problem. This would be y equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So let's clear our memory completely. We'll clear the stack and we'll load this up. We've got a is 2, so we'll store that in 1. We've got negative 3 for b. Store that in 2. And then we've got plus 1. We'll store that in 3. So there's our memory loaded up with the terms for a, b, and c. And we're ready to go for some more evaluation here. So let's start with 0, f, b. So our first pair is 0 and 1. We'll go 1. Next pair is 1 and 0. And then we'll put in a 2. And the next pair is 2 and 3. And then our last term we'll put in a 3. And we've got the pair 3 and 10. This third example in the programming series for ActiveRPN demonstrates how memories can be effectively used in creating flexible programs. Enjoy!